Right, well, it looks to be a few decent prospects in this uh, latest youth intake. And, um, well, it's nice that we could give Marcus Edwards 45 minutes ahead of, uh, ahead of Manchester United as well. Who made that tackle? Guys, your teammates. Your teammates. Remember, it's Ed Edwards that's down. It's Edwards. Someone call 999. Quickly, this is an emergency. And whoever made that tackle, you'll never play for this club again. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 4, Episode 8 here at Sheffield Wednesdays. We look to lead the team to Champions League glory and today, two huge, huge games against Wolverhampton and Manchester United in the league. And we are currently sitting in the top four, um, which is... Uh, it's a hope that kills you, isn't it? Uh, but the big, uh, the devastating news since last episode is that Marcus Edwards came back from injury... We gave him 45 minutes in a youth, we have had our youth intake, we'll get to that in just a second, but we gave him 45 minutes in the trial game, and he twisted his ankle again. Now, last time he was out for four weeks, exact same injury, I don't know if it's the same ankle or not, is there a way to tell if it's the same ankle? Um, so it was that one, so no, it's a different ankle, perfect, so he's just <laughs> glass ankles apparently, he's a new Jack Wilshere. Um... Yeah, now that's obviously a big loss because he is one of the stars of the team. A very, very potent attacking weapon for us. And we're going to be missing him more or less now for the uh, to the end of the season. Maybe you know, a couple of games at the end. But um, yeah, he's worth 30 million. Who wants him? Brighton. Well, we can laugh at them off. Um, yeah, so it's, it's obviously a big, big loss. Now, as I said, we did get our youth intake. Uh, and this is it here. If we search by age, we can get a, probably a best look at it. Um, Aaron Mitchell's... Or Aaron Mitchell even came through a decent-ish left back, you would say. Uh, there's uh, we got a centre back who was a decent option. I wonder if it's this guy here, Dennis Hargraves. Has he just come through? Yeah. So this is the this is sort of the star, I guess, of the intake. A promising centre back. Don't know why it's saying he's a right back because he's certainly not. Um, the only thing lacking in him really at this stage is pace. But uh, I mean, still young. There's some very some very decent attributes there. We are getting a nice little stockpile of young centre backs at the club, which is never a bad thing. So yeah, so that's good. But outside of the, of those two, um, we've got another one here. Oh no, he's he's older, isn't he, Banks? He's been around for a while now. Um, but we've got a couple of players that are coming through. Uh, if we search by potential, we can see them there. Um, Push. Oh no, he's uh, he's in the senior team. Yeah, he just came down for this game for some match practice. Uh, but yeah, so it's a little bit messed up actually. <laughs> but we can see them in Warrell as well. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit of potential there, but uh, a lot of them are sort of, we've already kicked them up a, up a, a little bit. If we have a look at the under-23s, uh, again, it's a little bit misleading because they're sort of players that are dropping down. Uh, but you can see there, we've got a little bit of potential in the club coming through. And while we're here, Oliver uh, uh, Brummer, he has, we have got him a work permit which is excellent. He's still in Serie A till the end of the season, but next year he will be coming back. He will be uh, a fully paid up member of our squad. And well, I'm hoping he will uh, kick up our strike force to the next level. He's coming along very, very nicely at Parma. So let's hope that that continues on next season and we get ourselves, we need more goals, don't we, in the team generally. But if we're going to be in Europe, which it looks like we probably will be in some way, um, then we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to need him doing a good job for us. So that is that. That is that. That is that. That is pretty much everything off the field caught up on the injury, the intake, and the Bruma walk permit. Uh, so this means we have to catch you up on some football games. There are three to catch you up on, uh, starting with struggling Everton in the Premier League. We fell behind after 24 minutes before James Garner picked out Hannibal's run to rescue a point. So there we go, dropped points. We were the better team in this game. We deserved to win. Obviously, we didn't have the wingers to play with wingers, so we had to go with this sort of a formation. Uh, it was nice to see Hannibal. I think that was his first goal of the season, would you believe, coming in March. Um, and James Garner, nice to see him uh, popping up, doing something useful as well. But you can see from XG, we did deserve to win. We had a big chance there. We missed late on, or midway through the half anyway. Um, yeah, silly drop points, and those are the sort of drop points that will cost us come the end of the year, that's for sure. Next up, it was a big one. We are, what was, uh, I think we're neck and neck with Arsenal in terms of points. We played them in the league, so, um, well, let's see how we got on. The only goal came in the second half when Castrati found Hannibal unmarked in the box. So there we go, a massive, massive win, and we deserved it as well, which was good. Uh, Hannibal, suddenly a goal-scoring machine for us. You can see, second half, we really did kick on in terms of XG. That kind of coincided with going to wingers, switching over to wingers, and, uh, well, we didn't look back, which is, I said, brilliant. Absolutely huge result. We tend to be decent at home. It's away from home where we will struggle. Um, and speaking of away from home and struggling, we went to bottom of the league, West Brom next. Um, well, let's see if we could get anything on the road. 
We took a second half lead when Castrati played in Abba Ruiz. And sealed the points late on when Del Prato crossed for Gustavo Meyer. So it wasn't a great first half from us at all, but we were much, much better in the second half. You can see even just from the XG, we were shocking in the first half, but we kicked on. Uh, I think what we did second half, if I remember correctly, is we switched those two around, Castrati and Mayer. We played them as out-and-out -out wingers, and, uh, well, stretching them definitely worked. Um, so we had a goal disallowed for Castrati as well. But um, a big three points away from home, even if it is against bottom of the league, because we have been struggling to uh, to see those sorts of teams off. So we, as I said, are in fourth right now. We have no more games in hand. Everything is even. Can we stay there? I have my doubts. You would imagine Manchester City is going to be a little bit stronger than us overall. But when we've played them this year, I think we've beaten them once or did we draw them and we should... Then they're, they're no better than us. They may or maybe a little bit better than us. But, you know, they're certainly in the same that same uh, grouping as us. It's not going to be any higher and... I don't think it's going to be... I think we are going to be in Europe. We've got, what, a 12-point gap over Villa with eight games to play. Something would have to go horribly wrong for us not to find ourselves in European football next season. Now, we do have Manchester United in the second game today. They are top, and that is going to be tough. They've only lost once all season. Um, but the first game is against Wolverhampton, and that is a game that does look does look as though it could be winnable for us. Let's have a look and see what we're doing here in this one. We do have the Friday night game. So we are going to have... Uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know... We expect, hopefully, to be uh, further up the league because of it. Um, we can see there, Matheson, of course, who we had on loan, did it where he's going to be playing for them, but a 4-2-3-1 a even. And um, well, let's have a look at what we're doing here. We're going with uh, with the usual team. It's Bazunu in goal. It's Taimon, MB, Carmo, and Prato. You'll see Carmo and MB have got a little bit of a link up there, which is good. It's McCrory, it's Hannibal and Cook in midfield. It's Mayer and Castrati out wide. It's Ruiz up top. And, um, well... We've got Marin back fit on the bench if we need him as well. So we can see their lineup there. Other than Matheson, there's nobody else that's going to come back and haunt us, which is <laughs> which is positive. Um, what do we say? Media's been giving a go. They put on a worthy display. Okay, we'll get on board with that. We'll point our fingers. We'll say we have faith in them to make a difference. And uh, we'll get out there. And here we go. Friday night Premier League football. Look at that recent form. That's nice, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I, as I said, I'm not sure. Oh, what's what I think I've got to mention before waiting for the game to start? Final call for nominees for Viewers Player of the Year. Thank you for people who have already nominated, but let me know, comments, Discord, wherever you want to do it, who has been your best player or your favorite player for us this season, and um, we will probably be looking to vote on that next uh, episode, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, in terms of the table itself, you would um, you would think City is going to be a little bit too, uh, a little bit too maybe consistent for us. But that said... We are picking up results, even if we aren't, you know, smashing teams out of the park. We are we are picking up results. Um, now, of course, at home to Wolves is a game. Why are Wolves in an away strip? Surely they'd be wearing their home strip against us, wouldn't they? Anyway, Hannibal wins that. It's up there for Ruiz. Ruiz turns and goes. Now, Bolly is a massive man, but I don't know how quick he is. Can we get across him? We've got Bolly out of position as well. Edge of the area. Oh, it's a decent block. Can we pick up the loose ball? We can. Del Practo, who has looked quite good for us. Um, there's a good ball for Cook. Can he get a ball in? He goes for Mayer. Mayer back for Cook. It's oh, Ruiz. It's Hannibal. What a miss. What a miss from Hannibal. Now, of course, he's not going to be able to play against Manchester United, them being his parent club. Um, oh, but he should have stuck that away. They've gone short with the kick. Hannibal's there. Cross in. It's headed away. Can we get to that? It's Ruiz. Ruiz gives it to McCrory. Forward for Mayer. Not the best pass. Can Mayer win it back? No, he can't. Can we win that? Oh, it's end-to-end -end stuff. Mayer comes back in. That's a crunching tackle from behind. Here we go with Lewis Cook for Hannibal. Hannibal's got a little bit of space. He's got Castrati on his outside. Hannibal. Will he go himself? Ah, oh, Hannibal, mate. That is... You had the chance to score, mate, and you missed it. Oh, we've got another corner to defend. Can we get this away, please? Oh, we can. Good header away by MB. Can Castrati get to it? He makes them go back. And there we go with Matheson. Hannibal cross in. It's Carmo. Carmo gets it down. Cook, can he get a tackle in? No. I've got a cat hair in my nose, as I tend to do. There's a good tackle from McCrory. He pokes it forward for uh, Ruiz. Back to McCrory. To Cook. McCrory. There's a pass for Mayer. Knocks it down for Cook. All right. Mayer. Where's Ruiz? Where's Castrati? Mayer goes past one. Can Mayer get across into the box? We've got players for it's a cracking ball in. Oh, Castrati can't miss. A little bit of a mix up there between goalkeeper and defender. And Liram Castrati gets his 13th of the year. And like I say, he, he literally couldn't miss. 
I don't think there's a professional footballer on the planet that could have missed that. It was a wonderful ball in by Meyer, a bit of a confusion, and you can't miss that, can you? Even I could so, uh, stick that home. And it's 1-0 after 23 minutes. Now we need to go on with this, please. Can we get ourselves a second goal? Um, that will, of course, what it will do is put a lot of pressure on Manchester City. If we win this, I think that will put the gap up to what? Will it be five points? I think we were two up, weren't we? Um, and that's putting pressure on them then. And pressure does strange things to teams. Here we go with Mayer again. Castrati's a, a little bit of space. He's got uh, Hannibal. Hannibal's in. Oh, it's blocked again. Hannibal couldn't score today. I don't think if he was... Life depended on it. Here we go with Cook. It's blocked away again. Ball forward. Oh, it's a towering header from MB. But unfortunately, it's picked up by Jimenez. But that will end the highlight. If we could get a second goal, you get the feeling uh, it would just about see them off. But a, a, a very decent first half from us. We've missed a couple of really decent chances. A couple of blocks have uh, maybe hurt us a little bit as well. Um, this is very definitely a case of don't get complacent, isn't it? We have played well there. But I've said it before, I'll say it again. We have played well in the first half before this season and then thrown it all away in the second half. What we might look to do is uh, we'll just back it off of attacking. Um, I might try switching those guys around. Let's uh, let's just mess with their defense a little bit there. Uh, the other thing, tempo wise, I wonder if we just if we do look just to slow it down a little bit, given that we are in front. Um, we'll see if that works for us or not. Let's uh, demand a little bit more. Let's fire them up and inspire them. Hannibal's looking tired. Um, I mean, the way he's playing, you do wonder if maybe taking him off isn't the worst thing we could, we could do. Um, Fideli. All right, he's played well when he has played. I don't know if we want him as an advanced playmaker. Let's send him box to box. Uh, we'll just leave Cook as a deep-lying playmaker and see if that works for us at all. Ball in. Time on's there. Can't get to it. It's not the best cross. Of course, what we have done there is uh, taken something that's working and changed it, which is... Usually a stupid thing to do. Bazunu has a simple save there. Gets it forward early. Ken Ruiz, he does keep possession nicely. Here we go with Castrati. Can he weave some more magic? Go on, Castrati. Castrati! And, uh, well, he's got his Hannibal shooting boots on there, hasn't he? Let's tell him to focus, maybe. And B's looking nervous. That's not ideal. Um, we do have Worrell on the bench as an option, rather than a nervous... And B, do we bring the club captain on, I wonder? Again, we're taking something that's working and changing it, but <laughs> hopefully we're changing it for the better. Let's give it another focus. It's only 1-0. It's been a, well, a very quiet second half. Let's go full defensive shutdown mode and hopefully see this out now. Let's waste some time. Let's be more disciplined. Um... Are we playing a high line? We're not. I should know how, what our defense is uh, shaped up like, shouldn't I? But uh, there we go. We've got on Friday Night Football. We've got a big, big three points there. It was Castrati's tap-in. And overall, we've played quite well. There's a lot of green there, which I like to see. Uh, the XG suggests that we, uh, we've, we've deserved to win it. I think we did deserve to win it, and that's, that's good. So there we go. Yes, we've played a game more, but a five-point gap back to Manchester City now puts a lot of pressure on them to win. And we edge a tight encounter with Wolves. So there we go. That is one down, one to go. That's against Manchester United. Wait right there, guys, and we'll be back for that. Okay, now before we get to uh, before we get to the game, there is one signing to announce, and that is that Gavin Bazunu is going to be joining us uh, permanently. Two point four million from Manchester City, thirty seven grand a week as a backup. <laughs> the reason I did it basically is he's happy to sign as a backup. Uh, yes, we're paying him more in wages, but he's better than Dawson. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And uh, it's 2.8 million. Oh, it was at 2.4. We could sell him tomorrow for a profit. So he'll come in at the end of the season and um, we'll hopefully, hopefully do a decent job. Now, there's a few other things to catch you up on. Now, the first of those things is that Hannibal has won the Premier League's Young Player of the Month award. So excellent news for him. Four appearances, two goals, uh, a 7.25 average rating. It's nice to see him finally show up. Now, I did try to get him back on loan again for next season. Um... The inevitable has happened. Manchester United want to give him a chance in their first team, so it doesn't look as though that's going to happen. But we'll live in hope. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can arrange something. Uh, and the other bit of news 
is that we have a new international in the team as David Carmo got his first cap for Portugal. So well done to him. Uh, I think he deserves it. He's... He's, he's been a solid player for us, if not a spectacular player. He's worth £31 million now. Um, that could be a nice sort of return on investment there if uh, if we could be so lucky. As, well, we don't really want to sell him just yet, but um, certainly the potential is there. So this is what we're doing. We are hosting Manchester United. Now look at this. My boys, Aston Villa, done us a massive favour. They've gone to uh, to Manchester City and won. So that means there is no game in hand anymore. There was the FA Cup last last sort of match day. Um, so that and there's also been an international break since last. That's why obviously Carmo got capped. Um, but there's a five point gap there now. No no game in hand for them. Is Champions League on? I tell you what, if we can take anything off of Manchester United, then you just might start to believe. Uh, now of course we got spanked in the league, didn't we, at Old Trafford? We had maybe a heroic defeat. Would we class it in the Carabao Cup semi final over two legs? Now we go again in the league, and let's see what we can do. Um, a little bit of news is that Dawson, he's twisted his ankle. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, we need to get rid of the rabbit holes or something. Where's injuries? Medical report. Twisted ankle. I don't know what it is with this club and twisted ankles, but uh, he's he's done. It's, it's only a backup goalkeeper, so it's not the end of the world, but obviously it would be you know better if uh, <laughs> if he wasn't injured. But Turpy comes into the bench. But the starting lineup is going to be Bazunu. It's MB and Carmo as the center as the two centre backs. Pra Prato down the right, Timon down the left, McCrory sitting in there. It's going to be Samare. Leighton Clarkson's going to get the call up and uh, Cook. Now the reason for Clarkson is because obviously Hannibal can't play and um if we look down here at Ghana, he he's just got a little bit of a knock. He's not he's not going to last ninety minutes. So Clarkson has been training on well, decent vision, decent passing, good in a tackle, decent in a tackle, good first touch. I'm just going to give him a chance. Basically, we're going to take a chance on him and see what happens. It's Solanke and Ruiz going up top. Um, we've got the option to go to wingers with Maya and Castrati on the bench. Nabian's there as well if he wants some height up top. Yeah, this is uh, well, if we can if we could win. It could almost steal Champions League football. And that is, of course, a massive, massive if, but it is an if nonetheless. Uh, we can see the lineups there. It looks like they're putting out a relatively strong side. Do we put on a worthy display? I think we've got to take the pressure off today, don't we? Yeah, I think we have to take the pressure off. Let's show them what we're capable of. No, that didn't work last time. So let's try a no gesture. Go out there, enjoy playing with no pressure on you. We'll point our fingers, say we know we have faith in them to make the difference for us, and uh, we'll get out there. All right, and a second TV game. Look at us on TV. Sky Sports, BT, they're loving us, aren't they? Uh, or whatever, whatever the channels are. Sportsnet, I think it is, in, uh, in Canada. It would be, what, NBC in the US? Fox Sports in Australia. I think it's still on Fox. Oh, no, it's Optus now, isn't it, in Australia? Anyway. Let's not worry about what channels we're on where. Let's focus on uh, trying to get one over on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United. Um, yeah, I mean, I I do wonder if if Champions League, if, if we were to get there. I mean, you would never say no to it. Don't get me wrong. If we get there, I'll absolutely love it. But I do wonder a little bit if we would be better off having a season in Europa League. We can use some of our younger players in the Europa League, get as far as we can. Of course, if we win the Europa League, we get in the Champions League as well. That's how we did it first time around with Leeds United. And we've gone 1-0 down from a free kick. And we did spend the international break working on our set pieces, both attacking and defending them. So to have conceded one is very disappointing. It's David Carmo. What are you doing, mate? You obviously haven't learnt much on international duty. Um, that's uh, highly, highly disappointing to concede in that manner. Here we go. Clarkson chasing down Fernandez. It's the battle we all wanted to see on the field. It's the Messi versus Ronaldo of, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Bazunu just about does enough there. Let me know what you think of the Bazunu signing. Um, like I say, I'm not saying I regret signing uh, Dawson to an extension now, but Bazunu as a backup, uh, if he's happy to do it, fantastic. It's 2.4 million. We can sell him, as I said, tomorrow for a profit. Um, so it kind of made a lot of sense to me just to get it done. Of course, it frees up a loan spot as well. We won't obviously have to loan him in next season if we wanted to get him back. Um, so I think there's just a little bit of a lot of logic even about it. Uh, this is not particularly going to plan, is it? Um, we are putting pressure on them high up the field. Can Cook get to that? No. One Basaka is there. Somebody's not doing their job. And that's hit the post. And Rashford has tucked it away for a second. And I'm not even going to wait for half time. We're going to make changes now. Um, 
Solanke has been horribly disappointing this season. Like, I might sell him in the summer disappointing this season. Um, let's get you going box to box for me. Um, let's try you as an attacking Mazzella. Let's not have a playmaker necessarily. And uh, so there we go. That's two subs made before half time. We'll continue to go at them. Um, yeah. We haven't created anything and, well, we're 2-0 down. So something has to change there. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about Solanke. He's 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 been horrible. I mean, Ruiz is just not marking his man there, and that's that's partially led to that goal, hasn't it? Solanke, at least he's marking his man. Um, yeah, he just he just hasn't has never got going this season, and it's one of the problems that I think we 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 have had if we have had problems. Here we go, with Ruiz over a free kick. Can he get one back before half time? Not quite. Samare's there. Can he get across? And he goes back to Ruiz to Samare, and Samare was offside, was he? Just sloppy play, wasn't it? Um, and that's been a very, very disappointing half of football from us. Let's, uh, do we thrash our arms? We can't be happy with it, so we'll see if we can get some sort of reaction. I mean, we've made our changes, haven't we? We've kind of made our bed now. We've made, we've made the two subs. We've got to go with this and hope that we can turn it around. We've got a corner to defend here, it looks like. Hopefully we'll do better than we do the first time around. Oh, we haven't. And, well, it's been set pieces, hasn't it? Set pieces and Ruiz not tracking his man. Decent save first time around by Bazunu and, well, Dejan was just, just first to react, wasn't he? Here we go now. Is it going to get us back in the game or is it going, are we going to risk another absolute rout in the league? Here we go with Meyer. He's gone straight through. Meyer. oh, was there a foul there by Mendy? He certainly lost his footing. Let's try a demand more. Um, I mean, the way that this game is shaping up, it almost is now a case of damage limitation. Don't completely destroy your goal difference. Samare is not having a great game, so we'll make our final change. Get Deli on for him. Cook's having a poor game as well. Um, let's put him back as an advance. Let's maybe just pause that so I get a chance to actually do it before the clock runs out. Um, advanced playmaker. Oh, for f These menus can really do your head in sometimes, can't they? Let's put him on attack, get him forward, and see what we can do. 15 minutes to play. If we get one, is there a chance? McCrory goes back to Carmo. Carmo to De Prato. He goes all the way back to Bazunu. And B is a three. He goes for wide for him. Carmo again. We're going to give this away, aren't we? You can see it coming. <laughs> Deli Bashiru. There's a ball looking for Maya. Maya goes past his man. Can he get across him now? Where's Ruiz? He's there. We've got Castrati. We've got Cook. We've got Castrati at the back post. It's a 14th goal for Limriam Castrati this season. It is 3-1. Is there a chance we can get back into this now? You'd say questionable at best, but uh, Maya did well. Got past Mendy, who somewhat dove in on him. We had some players getting forward, but of course it was that man again at the back post, Castrati, with a tap in. Maya and Castrati are almost looking as good as, uh, as Castrati and Edwards, aren't they? Do we, uh, do we try and get, uh, uh, what's his name, Mayer back again next season, I wonder? Question for the comments, perhaps. But uh, the game is ticking by now. They're just seeing it out. And, well, we did twice as well as we did <laughs> at Old Trafford. But ultimately, we have lost. Look at Cook. He's had a nightmare out there. I don't know if, the, I don't know if that was team talk. I don't know if that was tactics. It was probably a little bit of both. But uh, we've been thoroughly beaten. So there we go, Manchester United eased to victory, and they really did, didn't they? It was sloppy from a set piece, and um, yeah, I tell you what, uh, Jesse Thorpe, you can have him the way I'm feeling right now. He's just not performed for us this season at all. He's worth $31 million. I would bite your hand off for 30 well, He has a release fee as well, doesn't he? Uh, release fee of 41 As I said, I'd bite, I'd bite your hand off for that sort of money right now. I'd be happy to get my money back on him, to be honest. He's just not, although his match rating's not bad, but he's just not performed for us. Uh, but anyway, that is that for today. Disappointing end.
I mean, we're still five points clear, but obviously we are a game. We or we're not. We don't have a game in hand. I guess we have a game played more. So that gap could close in, but let's be honest, we didn't really think, I don't, we wouldn't have budgeted for a win against Manchester United, that would have just been a bonus for us. But uh, that will do it for today, don't forget to go and let me, uh, or nominate your uh, best player, your favourite player for this season, and I think what we'll do is we'll come back next time for Chelsea away, and Leeds United away as well, so two very big games at different ends of the table, and um, well if we can get six points against Brighton and Burnley. Oh, it could could it happen? Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.